In this video, I show you the super cool AI image creator called Idogram that really does very well with text and images. It's way ahead of many other AI tools out there. Let's dive in and see how it works. Once you have signed up and logged in, you will see this user-friendly interface. It's super easy to navigate. For example, let's type this prompt. Create a cityscape at night with lights forming dream big above the skyline. On the left, you have got options for image dimensions like 10 by 16, 1 by 1, and 16 by 10. We'll stick with the default for now. Underneath the description box, there are different image styles to choose from, like photo, poster, and 3D render. You can even check out more styles by clicking on See All. For this demo, let's go with Photo, 3D Render, and Cinematic. Once you have made your choices, hit Generate. You will get four unique results. I kind of like number two. The image looks really nice and the text is super clear. Now, you can customize your image even further. Just click on the image and choose Remix. Let's say we want to add in red after the words Dream Big and then hit Generate. It actually generated images that have lights in more red. I meant the text to be in red. Oops. Scrolling down, you'll find a feed of the latest and trending images. It's constantly updating, like every second. Just a quick note, the images you create will be public by default. The really neat thing about these images is that they come with prompts, so you can easily make your own tweaks. Let's say you like this fun image of a fish riding a bike, but you want a dog instead. Just click Remix, swap the fish for a dog, and hit Generate. Check it out, the results are surprisingly accurate. Keep in mind, it's not flawless all the time. I have had a few tries where my edits didn't quite hit the mark. And sometimes, Adding text to images already in the recent trending and top feed didn't always work smoothly. Still, it managed to create some pretty intriguing images. I'm all for it, so I encourage you to give it a try. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.